Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm wearing a new shirt. It's actually a dress, but I feel like it look real cute with like a hoodie over it, but it's real cute. Anywho, today we're doing a wig video. This wig is so cute. I can't even like explain it, y'all. It is so cute. My face feel a little dry because I just washed my face. I should have put some stuff on it. This wig is really cute. It's short. It's it's a short queen and I'm living for it. It is actually from Elfin Hair. This is my first time working with them, so I'm excited to see how this goes. My first impressions always of red hair is to wash it before you put it on your head do not just put that on your head because once you start to glue it spray it whatever you do it's gonna bleed because they obviously dye it this color so that was my first impression second impression was very easy to pluck very easy so if you're looking for something really quick and we're gonna actually do like a quick look today if you're looking for something very easy beginner friendly and quick this is the way for sure because it was so easy to pluck y'all know i'm not the best at plucking it did its job it is a frontal bob it is 200 and or it's 200 density it is a transparent lace and it is a 13 by 4 and the color is considered 99j y'all wanna know she's giving i don't me i don't even gotta say it y'all know me i do not wear short wigs like that like i said we're just doing something real quick i'm about to just braid it back put a wig cap on i'm not even gonna glue it on i'm just gonna boom and we're gonna go about our day okay i was thinking low-key i want to take this blonde out my hair it was cute while it lasted i don't care enough to keep updating it <laughs> maintaining it is the actual word i don't care enough so i'm like why do i still have this in my head cute wig i'm a cute wig cute style i did something different very new um but i just i don't know i don't i don't care enough like it's like i just i just want my old head back i guess i don't know but y'all gonna see me put this wig cap on because this is the best fastest easiest way to put it on usually i put on my wig caps before the video because it just takes a little while and i feel like it takes up a lot of time in the video when it's unnecessary and like if you're just here for a wig review and like not a how-to because i don't do those which if y'all want me to do a how-to let me know down below because I have a lot more experience now. I always want to educate people and I always want to help people out. And I usually do those type of videos when I'm not that educated. Like if I learn something, I'm like, y'all have to learn how to do this. Like right now, like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But I'm glad that I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've probably done a how-to video before. But I just know that like, I have a lot of knowledge now where I could do a how-to video. I'm like, so I'm just like talking <laughs> for real. I'm just going from one to the next real quick. So I'm just gonna braid my hair and I'm not even gonna braid it from the scalp. Like we're just gonna braid it down here. I feel like personally for me, because I don't keep my wigs on for 10 years, um that's not being shady i just don't keep my wigs on at all it's the best way to get like the flattest look especially if you don't know how to corn roll this is the best way to go just braid it from down here and i do this almost all the time i feel like if i braid it from the scalp it's because my hair was already braided so i'm just pushing everything back like pushing all these extra little flyaways back and putting a wig cap on but if my hair is like fresh like this then i'm just gonna braid it like i'm gonna braid it from the head down I'm not gonna do all that extra stuff because it's just not necessary to me. So the best way, I guess this is kind of a how-to. I mean, it's not a how-to, but it is a how-to. It's like a mini how-to, like without how-to in. I'm about to put this wig cap on so easy, like your mother can do it. I'm just gonna spray all this stuff that would potentially come forward and then blow dry it to make sure it's all dry, honey. So there will be a couple pieces. I don't really care. My edge is already gone. So like, what do I have to lose? And then we're gonna tie this back. Hold on. I get a big clip. I had this big clip as like an accessory, but it works very well for my wigs. I don't know which one, I have three. Sometimes the wig caps be super tight, but they be fit, like, I don't know, they be fitting funny. And we're just gonna, hold on. We're literally just gonna do this. And usually I do it from the back to the front, but the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm not gluing it down. Do this, boom. And then we're just gonna make sure all this is straight and pull it back right. That's obviously not gonna go back right here. It's perfect. Then I'm gonna grab my spray whack. I bought this thinking that it was free spray. These are not the same, I wanna let you know. So if this is ever out in stores, just go to another one. Do not buy this instead, because that's what I did and I messed up pretty bad. But I'm gonna spray just this little this little part and then I'm gonna put makeup on it. Oh no, I should probably put makeup on it first. I used a bronzer, I tried to use the foundation. I think because I'm not, putting it like I'm putting it on a part that's way lighter than my skin tone it's not gonna blend well so this is the best we're gonna get baby and we're just spraying that to keep it in place so when you put your wig on it doesn't fly back this one's gonna be cute I love a little short moment and you know that's what I love about wigs and people always say why don't you just dye your hair if you want your hair this color because I can put on a wig 
I'm very much, I'm, I'm educated enough to make the wig look decent, okay? So I'm just gonna put me on a wig. If I want a short red look, boom. It also comes with a strap. The strap doesn't work for you. We're about to see right now. All you have to do is cut it off. I'm actually about to put foundation on this first. I don't know why. I'm sitting here acting like I don't need foundation. I've been using this to put on my wig caps. Oh, let me show y'all. This is transparent too. It's transparent, but you know, I like to do the most. This is a 1.5 light to medium glow. It's four in one glow, it's perfecter. So you could use it as a primer, concealer, highlighter, BB cream base, corrector, illuminator. I don't like using it as any type of cream, as in like a BB cream because it, it's too shiny. Cause like, if I could use it as a highlighter, why am I putting it all over my face? But that's just me. I don't like all that extra like sparkly stuff on my face. I want my face to look solid, so. But I use it for my laces and it works really well and it's super easy. Put it on, like look at that. All right, let's determine if we keeping this on or not. Cause sometimes it be a little too tight. Oh no, it's perfect. Wow, it's perfect. <laughs> It's good, we good y'all, we good. Y'all know me, my plucking skills is not a one. It is actually, this could be put on a long head. I mean, I have a long head, but like, y'all see how far down it go? Oh my gosh. So you're just gonna put it up to your ear, cause obviously we're not gonna put it all the way down there. You're gonna put it up to your ear, but you gotta make sure both sides is doing their thing. Where's your ear? My ear right here. We are gonna cut right here, y'all see it? Perfect. I've had a new technique that I've been trying to do and I'm gonna show y'all right now. So I'll do that and then I'll do this. I'll come over here and see where it needs to be cut over here and take this right back off my head. Reason I take it back off my head is because trying to cut that without actually seeing what you're cutting is not fun at all. So you wanna make sure that you can see everything. So I just go through and oh, let me show y'all, let me show y'all. I also cut the band because I wanted to, I don't know, but y'all see? how perfect that is, you just go straight across, boom, then you could take it off your head and you could cut it easily. Okay, so now we're about to, I wasn't gonna spray, but we're gonna spray this puppy on. I first wanna make sure that it's on my actual hairline because usually I won't put it on my hairline because I'm, I got a big head and, well not a big head, I got a big forehead and I'll try to make it look smaller, but if I do a middle part, I can't do that because it looks so weird. So we're gonna do my actual hairline, push it back, bada beam, bada boom. Come it out so it don't stick together when you're trying to. <laughs> I've had that happen plenty of times where I'm trying to do my edges and stuff and it's all stuck together. Okay, so now we're gonna plug in our hot comb. Hot combs are the essentials if i were to make an essentials of what you need for wigs and this is for everybody not even just what i personally use you would need a blow dryer a hot comb this is a hot comb you need one of these i personally don't use them i probably should right now i don't ever use them because i don't care enough but you could use one of these a baby hair brush a wig cap got to be glued freezer spray and the styling glue and one of these it's just like a wax stick and maybe some foundation and a, like a foundation brush we're waiting for this hot comb to Heat up, and while we're doing that, I'm about to cut this lace. You see all this stuff lifting up or looking like it's lifting up? All you gotta do, boo, do not get overwhelmed. Grab your spray and spray it, blow dry it, and it's all gone. Literally, it's gonna leave like it was never there. What I am gonna do though is wipe off some of the excess that you could see on my skin still. <laughs> this whole thing came up. Yeah, I was about to say that whole thing came up. My real hair showing, so I might do edges right there. Might. Depends on how I feel when I'm done. Now we're done. I'm just joking. <laughs> I should add edges. I'm gonna add edges. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'ma do it. Uh, okay, just without styling and like just the edges, it's really giving. And like, uh, just I can't. It's so pretty and so cute. And I just, I love the length. I didn't want it to be too short because I've had wigs that are like here and like I just feel like my face isn't made for 
really, really, really short hair. I've actually had my hair cut and it was like to here. And I was so pissed when I left. Like that girl, I hope she got better. That's all I gotta say. I don't want her to go out of business or nothing, but I really hope that girl got better. I'm gonna do a middle part because I laid this part down and at first I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. But once I laid it down, it looks so much better. But I'm actually just going to go through and hot comb it. I don't even have to use the, whatever that's called, flat iron. All right, I'm done. Sorry y'all, my girlfriend came home, so. I was spending time with her, but this is the wig. I love that I stuck with the middle part because it just looks perfect and it's nice and flat, like I said, and I didn't have to do much. Like this took me an hour tops. Ah, I'm loving it. This is the back, this is the front. I gotta do a little cameo real quick, so just give me a second. All right, y'all, that's it. Thank you, Elfin Hair, for sending me this wig. To show you all on my page, I appreciate it so much. This wig is beautiful. It will definitely be getting used up, baby, because it's so simple. It's not too long, so you don't have to do too much to maintain it. I'm gonna give this wig a 10 out of 10. It ain't that easy to get a 10 out of 10 out of me, but this wig is giving. I love the process of getting it ready. It took two seconds to flat iron. It took two seconds to blow dry. It took two seconds to wash. It took two seconds to get on my head. Like, I don't know, it's giving. I love it, and thank you so much to Elfin Hair. This wig will be down below, hopefully with a discount, so you guys could shop. I got the 16 inch, if anybody wants to know, if you have like the same head size body size whatever this is a 16 baby it's how long ago as well as all the information to their company will be down below so thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up make sure you follow all my social media at the end of the video and i'll see you guys next time bye